Hi, I'm Stacy from Construct Connect. I have with me Thano Lembrinos, Director of Business Development, Energy and Digital Services at Alice Dawn. Thano, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So this morning you spoke about uh, smart and connected buildings. I wanted to start off by asking you what uh, are some of the biggest trends in smart and connected technologies and where do you see these trends headed in the next five to ten years? Sure, yeah, I think what we're going to see over the next five to ten years is actually what we've been talking about over the last five to ten years. It, real estate as an industry has been very slow to adapt, uh, pardon me, to adopt smart and connected technologies within their facilities. But moving forward, we've seen kind of an influx in the last six months, um, more movement in the last six months than we've seen in the, in the last six years. And I think the, the first step is convergence, is collapsing of systems and networks onto singular converged networks and systems to run the various systems in the facilities uh, and manage the various systems within uh, the built environment. Uh, I think the, the next logical trend uh, after convergence and after we get all of the systems integrated uh, is going to be uh, more advanced analytics and using technology and uh, algorithms within, uh, contained within the cloud to, to better drive operations. It's all about business drivers and solving business problems. So when we look at smart and connected real estate, we talk about what are the use cases? What are you trying to accomplish? And it's typically dri driven around a few business drivers. Uh, one of the main ones being lowering CapEx, uh, one being lowering OpEx, increasing operational efficiency. Uh, there's a lot around lowering energy, energy costs, consumption, uh, reducing carbon footprint. And the biggest one is around driving the tenant, uh, patient, user experience, depending on what type of facility it is. So we're going to see that convergence happen in new construction. Uh, it's happening already. Uh, we're going to start to see uh, facility owners and operators uh, working with companies that provide advanced analytics, cloud-based analytics. And I think the last step, something that you're going to see happening sooner than later, is autonomous optimization and autonomous management of facilities. So we talk about it a lot with vehicles driving themselves, machine learning, uh, you're going to see a lot of that uh, become more prevalent in the built uh, space and in the building environment. So that's kind of that's kind of where I see things going. We hear a lot about um, how smart and connected technologies impact, in a good way, uh, builders, especially when you talk about uh, cost efficiencies. What are the benefits uh, or some of the benefits when it comes to the end user? I think the user is centralized to the whole idea of smart and connected technology. Certainly there's uh, massive benefits for owners and operators and for construction uh, providers, people building the facilities, the developers, etc. But what I think you're going to start seeing in from the user perspective is customization. So with the development and the proliferation of the Internet of Things, there's millions and millions of devices being connected every year. And in, the, in, in your home, you can adjust your thermostat. You can access your security cameras from your mobile phone. You may be able to get information off your smoke detector, et cetera. But in the commercial environment, that hasn't been available. So users and people within the facilities are starting to demand more. So I think that we'll start to see a lot uh, more customization of spaces, being able to adjust uh, temperature, lighting, um, shading systems to, to, to suit your needs, which will ultimately improve wellness. There's a lot around the, the well standard that's coming out um, to, to improve the experience and to make people more productive in their spaces. Uh, certainly on the real estate side, that's what we're seeing, and on the, on the healthcare side, it's about the patient experience and, and what that experience is like when you're coming into a facility uh, to have a routine checkup or to uh, have a day surgery done or whatever the case may be is providing a seamless experience with comfort within the space so that's that's where I see things going is is from a from a user perspective there's going to be a lot of customization and and just a better um, a better environment for for general wellness and productivity sounds like the way of the future I, I would I would say so absolutely wow, thanks for all of the Intel exciting times ahead absolutely be sure to check out the rest of our videos from throughout the uh, event, and we'll be back shortly.